Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trailmakers, and today we're going to be attempting to do something along the lines of crate or container Jenga. I'm going to try to build things or use things to assemble these crates into a Jenga-style tower, and that's going to be the first task. If we can even get, like, I'm thinking at least three layers high of three crates on each layer. If we can at least get that, then I want to try to see if we can actually remove crates from somewhere below the top layer, just like Jenga, without collapsing the tower. I'm afraid, just like with a lot of my videos, that I've given myself a task that is a little bit outside of what I'm able to do. And I guess that's just kind of what makes the fun happen, right? <laughs> but before we do get into this, I'd like if you guys would leave any suggestions of things that you would like to see in Trailmakers. Because before I come up with any ideas, I always go to the comments first to see if anyone's suggesting anything. And if you guys have any good ideas in the comments, because if possible, I like to do things that you guys like to see. And the best way to let me know what you like to see is to leave a comment about it because believe it or not, I do actually read most of the comments. I won't say all of them because I think sometimes I just miss some, but I try to skim through the comments at least a few times a day. But we get plenty of crates here and plenty of space to build. So I figure I'll start off the, the lower layer is probably gonna be the easiest. I think I'm just gonna use the pushing car that I made in the last couple episodes that I never actually saved. It's just in my history here. I'll just save it because this thing is really useful for crates. It's the simplest little thing. I could probably build it in like a minute, but uh, I'm just gonna grab a couple of crates and just bring them out into the open here to give ourselves an open area for building. Now, the question is, I don't know how I'm going to deal with the upper layers yet. Like when it comes to putting things on top, I feel like my flying drone, my crate carrying drone might be a little bit too uh, inaccurate, a little bit too wonky to get any type of reliability. So we might have to make a land kind of uh, container hoisting vehicle that's able to just piston its way up above all of these crates and drop another crate down. But this part should be the easy part, I hope. I guess just getting them all to be perfectly lined up is gonna be the tough part, no matter what layer that we're on. But this layer should hopefully be the easiest. All right, we're already off to like a rocky start with this. The first one was easy because it could just kind of set the bar for the alignment. But the this one's going to be, I guess, I guess this could work. We just kind of line it up like that and I just got to push it from this side, right? So just in case some of you watching have no idea what I mean by Jenga and are just completely unfamiliar with the game and had no childhood or it's not part of your current childhood. Basically, you have layers of three blocks perpendicularly stacked. So one one layer is stacked this way with three blocks. I guess I'll use three fingers. And then the other layer is stacked this way. And then so on, like that. So then once they're all stacked up, your goal is to try to remove one block from the tower at a time and then place it back on top without collapsing the tower. So <laughs> the way I see this going is we're going to go through all this trouble to build a tower here. And then as soon as we try to remove something from it, the whole thing is just going to come crumbling down and all that work will have been for nothing. If only there was a way to like save the state of like a current state of the game. Like once I make the tower, if I could just create a save file of this is the state that the world was in. All right, that looks okay right there. All right, layer one is pretty much done. That looks pretty good to me. I think we could just maybe if we want it absolutely perfect, which the higher we stack the tower, the more the errors will show. So I think that looks great right there. We've done a great job so far. Okay, now for the hard part. We now have to create something that is able to stack a whole nother... Oh, wait a minute. I'm just realizing this might not work the way that I want it to work because I don't think this is a perfect square. Here, let's just test this out really quick. So if I take one of these ones and I turn it perpendicular, let's see how it lines up with the three of these. I'm hoping that it's gonna be pretty much the same uh, width as three of them, but it's looking like, okay, so this is not gonna be perfect. No matter what, this is not gonna be perfect because ideally those would be flush with each other. So there's gonna be some weird discrepancies. All right, well, this just made everything a lot harder, but let's stick with it. 
we're committing to our to our idea because I think it's an awesome idea. And I think it actually did come from the comments too. But let's just separate this from everything else. There we go. And now we've got to figure out how to stack these. So let's uh let's build something. We're gonna build like a giant forklift. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm running into a really interesting thing here. Uh, so this is the basic prototype of the vehicle right now. So as you can see, it's clearly front heavy. Now the entire thing weighs about 400 kilograms. Now the interesting thing, I just I just tested this really quick. So the entire thing weighs 400 kilograms. Now watch how much weight I'm gonna add directly to the back of this thing. I'm just gonna do a lot of this. All right, so now it weighs uh, almost 1,300 kilograms. So almost three times as much weight on the back here alone. But check this out. How is that possible? How does the back weigh three times as much as the whole rest of it, let alone just the front, but yet the front still weighs it down? So I'm just gonna extend this back more. That is a lot of weight in the back. If that's not enough to counter it, the whole thing is bending. I don't know what to, I honestly, I'm, I'm not sure what to think about this. Like, eh, there's so much weight. Can we even like, it, this isn't even gonna work as intended. Like, <laughs> Once we have the crate up there, why is it so front heavy? All right, well, I made some adjustments. So let's just see if this was even a viable idea to begin with. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna compress and then, oh, it's laggy. I mean, not laggy, but glitchy. All right, then lift up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's not working the way I was intended to. I really thought all this weight was gonna be enough to counteract that. We're gonna need to take a different approach. All right, so as you can probably tell, my next idea is to grab it from the top, but I'm doing a quick uh, test run on the basic design before I actually add the grabbing mechanism to see if this is even a viable option. Now look at those wheel. Look at these legs. They are wobbly. <laughs> oh no, this is... This is not gonna be the easiest challenge. Like. We might, we might have to resort to the inaccuracy and chaoticness of my flying drone if this doesn't work. But the idea is I'm going to have some grabbers come down and we're hopefully going to just be able to lift it up. Oh, and how is that going to affect our wobbliness? Actually, no, I want to be able to grab it from the side like this. I forgot. I don't want to go the long way. I want to go the wide way because this is going to be the easiest, I think, to draw. Um, turning is just terrible. Dang it. <laughs> We're like a single block too thin. All right, let's go ahead and test and see if this has any potential whatsoever. So hopefully if all goes right, uh, I should be able to extend myself up a little bit here. I'm gonna have to adjust my heights because uh, I'm, I'm just not gonna be able to lift this up high enough right now. But I have, a, I, have a, I have a method for that. Don't worry about it. The first thing though is we actually have to line ourselves up with this. All right, this is already harder than it should be. All right, there we go. All right, let's zoom in. That is looking pretty good. Let's lower ourselves a little bit, and now we should be able to extend these. Oh, it's getting a little bit laggy. 
All right, it's turning me automatically. I don't like that. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and lift up. Mmm, not a fan. Not a fan of how that's working so far. All right, let's put you down. Put you down. Calm down now. Calm down. It doesn't, like, it really doesn't feel like it can uh, grab it consistently. I'm going to extend my grabber prongs and see if they, see if that helps us out at all. All right, here we go. Maybe this is going to be better. Extend it in. Oh, I don't like, I don't like it when it does that sparky thing. All right, let's lift up. Okay, that's okay. Is that enough? That's, I don't think that's enough. <laughs> Look at the wheels try to move. This is the, oh, and it just, it just fell. All right, well, that doesn't work either. All right, I'm gonna do some experimenting here. I'm gonna try to make it so that I grab it long ways instead of wide. Uh, the reason why I'm trying to grab it wide is because that's the only way to really be able to center where I want to put it as I'm placing it down on top of the bottom layer. Because if I do it the long way, then I can't really move it side to side without making things m too much more complex. I'm hoping with these adjustments, I'll be more stable and I'll be able to hold on to the container a little bit easier. Okay, new design has been formulated. So hopefully I can close around enough. Let's go ahead and extend these. Oh, that looks good. That looks pretty good. And we should be able to lift it up. There we go. Uh, that's not enough yet, unfortunately. All right, this clearly needs some adjustment, but let's actually test that. This feels... This feels more doable. Okay, now we, we do run into the issue. We're actually facing... Uh, oh, oh, things are going to get interesting. Because, all right, so here's the problem with trying to place it on the long way, is I can only really place it centered right now. I have no freedom to move left and right. So I kind of have to place it on the wide way. So I think I have an idea. All right, are you guys ready for this? Let's get ourselves lined up here. Let's close, whoops, wrong button. Let's uh, let's close in on the crate. All right, looks like we're closed in. Now we can lift up. And are you ready? Are you ready? We press E. Oh yeah, there it goes. There it goes, and then we can just go forward and not be tall enough. All right. All right, I've added a lot more pistons, so we should get plenty of height. But now the question is, are we going to be able to go? All right, this is working so far, but we're already aligned. It's going to be different when we're picking up things that aren't already aligned. Although, worst case scenario, we could... Oh, I'm, I'm facing the wrong way. We, we have to be placing it perpendicular. This is not perpendicular. Oh boy, that means we have to turn. Oh, turning is not going to be good. Okay, here it goes. Oh, I'm just waiting for the legs to collapse underneath me. Wait, 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 wait. I should be, I should, I should be as low as I can to start off with. That's going to be my most stable state. Then I should line myself up and then, then I can extend upwards. And how are we going to get a third level out of this? Do you have any idea how many pistons I'm going to have to add? For a third level like oh no oh i'm wide enough for the crate itself but i'm not wide enough for three crates the long way i gotta make myself even wider that's just gonna be even less stable oh what am i doing why did i choose to do this okay well here goes nothing we're gonna go ahead and line this up as best we can close ourselves in on it Lift ourselves up. Ooh, we're not centered very well. All right, now we should be wide enough. Oh, this is bad. There's so many sparks. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This is really bad. All right, let's go down. Go down. I'm not centered. This is... Oh, man. Oh, why did we do this? Why have we done this? We need to... We need to, we need to center ourselves before we pick this thing back up. Get up. Get... Oh. <laughs> the legs are so wobbly. All right, let's put it down. Put you down. Let go. All right, here we go. I think it's going to be easier to pick this thing up the long way. Well, it would be easier if the slant wasn't right here messing everything up with my wheels. All right, let's get ourselves nice and centered. That looks okay. It looks good enough. I think we can tolerate this. Let's lift up a little bit. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall down the hill. All right, wobbly legs. Wobbly legs. All right, turn it. Okay. 
That was, uh, that was a little bit wonky. Uh, let's just make ourselves lined up first. Oh no, I pushed the middle one. I didn't mean to push the middle one. That's gonna bother me. All right, well, let's just do it. We're going up. We're going up. We're on. I'm gonna go down to the far end. Oh, no, 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 stop the feedback loop, please. <gasps> you know what? I think, I think that's good enough for me. <laughs> Look at my legs. All right, let's let go. Let's push ourselves back up. Oh boy, and keep on going. It's not perfectly aligned. I'll be the first to admit that it's not the most perfect alignment. Here, let's bring ourselves back down. Line up with this next crate here. This is... Wh why do I do these things? Like, wh where do these things even... How did my life come to this? Let's gently... Oh. <laughs> Lower. <laughs> Lower. Gently. Align ourselves up here. Alright, up. 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 Okay, no, 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 no. Uh. <gasps> oh, no, I can't do it. Wait, I gotta go up further. Okay, then I gotta move it like this. These aren't gonna fit like this. I can only fit two on here. No! I refuse to accept this. All right, let's, uh, let's drop it. <laughs> oh, no. How do we do this? These, the dimensions of these are not what I thought they were. I'm going to admit that that, that kind of really puts a damper on the whole plan here. Can I just nudge you? Oh, that worked. All right, this is going to be even more treacherous. We have to try to fit a crate right there. We have to try to fit a crate right there. This is going to be the most difficult version of Jenga you've ever seen. This is Jenga not even on hard mode. This is Jenga on impossible mode. It's like Jenga meets getting over it right here. All right, let's go over to this guy. We're gonna pick this orange one up. We're backing it up. Now, how are we even gonna drop this thing on there without it falling off? Because I can't I can't make them flush because my arm that holds it takes up space that I need to put them next to each other. So that's definitely putting a damper on things. Uh uh. Okay, alright, just get close. Start heading up. There we go. There we go. Let's get a little bit further forward. Please don't fall off. All right, I'm going to attempt to let go. And let go. Gently. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to leave that crate there. And that's going to be my buffer to prevent the next crate from actually falling. That's what we're going to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This is working. All right, we got it. We did that. We just did that. This isn't bad. We're not absolutely terrible. You know, guys, remember, it doesn't have to work great. It just has to work, right? We've said that once upon a time. And I think that this is this is where it's really gonna come in handy as a as a motto. Keep going. Oh my god, look at that wobble. Okay, now let go. Alright, no, that's fine. That that's all part of the plan. So now I can push it, I hope. I hope I can push it from here and then just further. Oh no, there's that angle. That angle is gonna kill me with this. Ugh, look at the legs. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, go. All right, we just need to take a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a running start. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Please work. Oh, it's working. Oh, our, our wheel is caught. Hold on. <gasps> we did it. This technically, I'm going to say this technically counts. I think that could support itself. Uh, is there any way we're going to get one more layer of this? Like, is that is there is that even remotely possible? I don't see how this is going to work with another layer. But you know what? That's not going to stop me from trying. All right. So I made my vehicle taller. The question is, is it going to be tall enough? To lift a crate. Oh, that is cutting it close. But uh, only one way to find out. All right, so now the question is, does this even go down low enough? Oh, it looks like it does. Oh, don't tip it, please. Here, up. 
up, up, down, down. Oh, look at that. That's good. All right, now grab onto it. All right, here's the moment of truth. How is picking this thing up going to behave? It's not centered, but I don't really... It's going to be really difficult to center this thing. Oh, wrong direction. Why? It's simple. You just wait until the gaps... Oh, it worked. It worked. It actually worked. Okay, close it. Close it all the way. All right, I think it's closed. Now... Lift up. <sighs> It's lifting. I don't even know if it's high enough. I don't... I think it is. I think it's high enough. Can we just place one on top, please? That crate is ruining everything. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna hop out. Please don't die on me. Please do not die. I just need my pushy car real quick. Don't despawn. If that thing despawns, I'm gonna be so mad. All right, pushy car. Pushy car is just gonna push this out of the way. There we go. Let's get out. Hurry up and get back in this. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. <gasps> it's working. Oh, that angle, though. I don't like that angle. All right, hold on. Hold on. I got to go as far as I can to leave myself as, 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 as much room as I can on the other side. Let's just go down a little bit. Will it hold there? Let go. Lift up. Oh, 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 that worked. I am so uncertain right now. That is, that is the sound of complete uncertainty in my voice about what to expect with this third layer. Oh, up, 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 up. Okay, up more. Oh, please. Okay, all right. Now, if we drop it, I know from experience it's going to, like, lean back a little bit. I'm going to try to drop it nice and slow, though. All right. Uh, let go. Gentle. That wasn't so bad. All right, but it always, like, leaves a space. I don't like that space. And this last one, like, oh, I don't know how we're going to do that. Can I put... <laughs> I, I have no way I'm gonna push it with this. Wait, maybe I could do it with my with my character. Uh, uh. Oh, it kind of worked a little bit. Uh. Oh, this works. Whoa, 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 not too much. Oh, that was kind of close. Uh, I really hope I don't move that one off. This is not gonna be easy. Like, I, I don't think I'm... I really don't think I'm gonna be able to set this one... I have an idea. I have another idea. All right, here's my idea. I'm going to put that right there as a buffer to help when I, my crate falls back. And then I can use my character to push it in. I hope that this works. The only thing I'm worried about is that's going to, like, dematerialize. Because sometimes that happens to stray objects. But I think as long as I don't press repair, I'll be okay. Which means as long as I don't break my creation, I'll be okay. We're going. We're going. All right, that's good enough right there. We're going. Third level. Third level. Please stop spinning like that. Line up. All right, now. Oh, if it drops, it's total. It's not going to get supported by that. All right, well, we got to try it. Okay, here we go. And release. <laughs> No, 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 no. Um, can we fix this? Can we fix this? Can we fix this? We're so close. Please, please don't let this be how it ends. Just gotta... <laughs> go, 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 go. No, 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 it's worse. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> we can do this. No, we can do this. It's gonna get momentum. It's going to fall into the crack and get momentum. Okay. Oh, this is bad. This is so close right now. I just, I don't know. I don't know if we can do this. Come on. Just please push it. Push it. Push it. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Over on this side now. Oh. Oh. Perseverance. We've done it. 
We have done it. We have stacked three high on top of each other. That's a total of nine crates positioned on top of each other, Jenga style. Now, I have to make sure I get any screenshots I'm gonna get before <laughs> I topple this thing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have our tower of container, ship a container Jenga. Now, the way Jenga is supposed to work is that when you remove one piece from below the top row, you're supposed to then place it on top. I'm just gonna skip the placing it on top part because uh, we, all, we already know how that goes. And what I'm gonna do is first, I'm gonna try to remove the center bottom piece right here with this car. Now, if that works successfully, this could just destroy the entire tower. But if that works successfully, I'm then gonna try to remove the center piece on the second row. And we're gonna see how that turns out. This could be it right here, ladies and gentlemen. If you've enjoyed this so far, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to leave some ideas. I'm already like accepting my fate here that this is not gonna go very smoothly. But I'm gonna put my boosters on. I'm gonna go full speed ahead and we're gonna see if we can remove this piece without the whole tower collapsing. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go. <gasps> oh no, we've removed two pieces. Okay, all right, that, I'm gonna say that wasn't a failure. That was not a failure. You know what this means though? This means that the next piece that we have to remove is the orange one on the side. We can't remove the center one. We have to remove the orange one on the side. So we've technically just removed two pieces successfully. It wasn't the way I planned on doing it, but it worked and the tower is still standing. So now I'm going to attempt to remove that one somehow and that's gonna that's gonna require another build no a glitch has just happened in which even though i was in build mode which shouldn't have any impact on physical objects around me it did have a physical object around me but uh, it did have a physical impact on the object around me so we're still gonna keep going though. We're gonna pretend like that didn't just happen. And I still wanna try to remove this orange block, but um, that's disappointing. We're gonna continue anyway. And I'm just going to move this back a little bit so I can hopefully control this without it glitching anything else out. All right, so here's my plan. And I hope that this works. First, I hope I'm strong enough and then, all right, wide enough. And then I hope I'm strong enough to be able to pull it out as quick as possible. So the plan is I go up, I clamp onto it. I hope that those actually clamp far enough. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use thrust to create a hopefully straight pull outwards and a strong pull outwards. And we're going to hope that none of those top boxes fall. I'm going to assume that if neither of those two fall, then the red one hopefully wouldn't have fallen either, even though it glitched out during the build process. And it looks like there it is. All right. Jenga, the most legit. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, pull. It worked. It actually worked. We just played Jenga. We we just we just totally pulled the piece out. All right, we're gonna have to do a celebratory. A celebratory uh, dive into the water here with our new awesome Jenga crate. Oh, that was actually successful. I can't believe that worked. All right. Well, uh, let me know what you thought of that. What was your favorite part of this episode? I just lost that vehicle completely. And uh, don't forget to leave some suggestions for future ideas. It doesn't have to be crate ideas. The last three episodes were crate experiments. So maybe we should do something a little bit different. So let me know if you have any other things that you guys want to see in Trail Makers. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.